Hello, Brownie here from Kit Guru. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Corsair K95 Platinum RGB mechanical keyboard. This keyboard has a hefty price tag of nearly £200, so let's have a look at the features on offer and see if it's worth that much money. So it comes nicely packaged in the classic black and yellow Corsair box. You've got a nice picture on the front there and then on the back we've got all the sort of features that I'm going to be covering in this review. So it explains them all on the back of the packaging, it's very nice. Pop that up there for now. So also in that box you get a manual and you also get a warranty guide. This key will come with a two year warranty. You get eight replacement keycaps and a keycap puller and you also get a removable wrist rest. So the keyboard itself, it's a big, hefty, full-size mechanical keyboard. It's got some extra width because you've got the macro keys down the side and also this top bezel adds a little bit of extra size to it so it takes up quite a bit of space on the desk. I think it looks really, really nice though. It's fairly, very aesthetically appealing. You've got the RGB light strip across the top, which is quite a new addition. Corsair have done it for this platinum keyboard. And then the Corsair logo itself lights up, which is a nice little feature and you can customize that. The build quality on this keyboard, I found to be really excellent as well. It's got an aluminium um, construction to the body and it's a nice black airbrush finish. So. Not only is it making this keyboard nice and strong and sturdy, it also looks great. It is quite an expensive keyboard though, so you would expect it to have that really good build quality. So along with the keyboard, you also got, get this removable wrist rest, and it's nice and easy to take on and off. And I actually used it the entire time I um, was trying out this keyboard. And I find it really comfortable, and it's also got two different um, textures to it, which is quite quite a unique thing that Corsair have done. So you can actually pull it out, and then you can flip it over, and on the other side, it's got a uh, you've got one side which has a soft touch uh, matte finish to it, and then I prefer to use this grippy rubber side. Um, but it's quite nice; it gives you a little bit of extra customization. So. Um, on the left hand side of the keyboard you've got um, three buttons on there and one of those is to change the profile and then you've got another one which allows you to change the brightness settings on the keyboard and then there's another button which is the Windows lock key. On the right hand side of the keyboard this is the dedicated media controls. I think this is a really nice feature as it means you don't have to muck around using a function key and you can easily change your media settings while you're in a game and there's also a nice little volume scroll wheel um, which, is, which is quite good and I found myself reaching for that quite a lot. And then of course down the side you've got the dedicated um, macro keys and they're a nice grey uh, textured finish. They actually match the finish you get on the extra spare keys and I think it probably helps with to stop you pressing the keys accidentally. So it's it's um, quite nice that they're different, different colour, different texture and I think macro keys are going to come in handy for quite a lot of people. If you're a gamer it's always nice to have dedicated macro keys as I feel some games actually give you a bit of advantage using macros and then you don't have to go and um, reprogram any of the um, other keys on your keyboard. So when you flip this keyboard over to the other side, on the back you've got the little rubber pads on the bottom and they're quite a decent size and I found they worked quite well for stopping the keyboard slipping around. And then um, I think it's got quite a bit of weight to it as well so that's probably going to help it stop moving. And then you've got two little flip out feet on the bottom and these actually flip outwards um, which is a bit different because some keyboards sort of flip the other way and I find when you're sort of like moving it around your desk sometimes you sort of give it a shove too hard and the feet, feet flip down and you end up with like a wonky keyboard which isn't what you want in game so it's quite nice that they do um, flip out outwards and I think that's quite a smart uh, feature because I do like to use the feet on a keyboard and then you've also got what I think is Corsair's sort of idea of a cable management system so I haven't actually found a use for this I'm assuming it's probably for a headset cable and um, but yeah I haven't really found a use for it but it is there if um, you wanted to use it it's just sort of that little X X shape on the bottom 
So the cable that you use to connect your PC on this keyboard is braided, which is perfect because I love braided cables. I think they look better and they're probably gonna last a bit longer as well. Um, and this cable actually splits off into two USBs and this is because this keyboard has a USB 2.0 um, pass through so that's a great little feature it brings a USB from the back of your case onto a more accessible point in your desk uh, so you can use this for plugging in peripherals you can use it for charging a phone you can use it for plugging in a flash drive so that's quite a nice a little feature and of course you don't have to use it you can just leave that USB unplugged on the back of your computer but it is quite a nice little feature so let's move on to the keys on this keyboard. So they're all nicely raised off the body of the keyboard. And I've actually seen this on quite a few keyboards recently. And I think that it looks really, really nice. It allows the lighting to sort of shine through that a little bit better. And I think it's also gonna make it a little bit easier to clean. And then this keyboard is a mechanical keyboard and it uses Cherry MX switches. And I've got the version that uses the Cherry MX speed switches. So these are specifically designed for gaming and they have a very low actuation point of 1.4 millimeters. So that means as soon as you go to press them very, very lightly, it, the keyboard actually registers like pretty much straight away. But they also have an overall depth of 3.4 millimeters. So they definitely still feel like a mechanical switch and they're sort of a linear switch. So they actually feel very similar to the Cherry MX Reds. I found these really great for gaming on because of that really sort of light key press it takes for them to register and I actually felt like I sort of pressed my skills that bit better in like League of Legends and it made me that a little bit quicker. Um, however, not so great for typing on. They're not bad and I could definitely type on this keyboard but I did find that I made a few more mistakes and um, because of course it is quite easy to accidentally press keys when you're typing fast and um, because they are so light to um, press and um, you do find that you make more mistakes when you're typing. Corsair have however brought this keyboard also out in a brown um, Cherry MX brown switch option uh, which is much better for typing on so if you are um, going to be gaming on it you've got the option of the um, speed switches and if you're going to be doing a lot of typing on it I would probably recommend getting the Cherry MX brown switches. Um, there isn't a, any other switches available on this keyboard so um, it might be quite nice to see Corsair bring that in like maybe a blue switch because I know a lot of people are uh, quite big fans of the Cherry MX blue switches. So I think the lighting effects on this keyboard are what really really makes it stand out. They are absolutely beautiful. You've got the like fully customizable RGB which you can change key by key. The lighting is adjustable as well, the brightness levels. By pressing the brightness key you've got three different settings and then an off setting as well. And I just think this keyboard looks great, like literally everything on it lights up. The media control keys light up, the uh, Corsair logo lights up, the macro keys light up and then you've got this really sort of like unique RGB light edge strip on the top of the keyboard that makes it stand out and it's actually got like 19 individually controlled um, RGB zones along that there as well so yeah a lot of RGB going on on this keyboard so all of it is controlled with the Q software which is the Corsair utility engine which I've got up on my screen behind me here um, and we'll just jump straight into the lighting effects tab as that's what I'm currently talking about and um, I am using the lighting link options. That means that my keyboard is synchronized nicely with the um, other Corsair peripherals that I've got on my desk. And um, I quite like that one because you click it and it looks nice um, straight away. And you've got a few different options. I'm using like the rainbow wave, but there's like spiral rainbow visor, rain, color shift, color pulse, and then like reactive lighting as well. And then um, there is literally loads and loads of different lighting effects to choose from. I, probably one of my favorite ones is like the um, Void playback visualizer. So that actually like allows your music to actually change the lighting that's going on your keyboard. And I think that looks really, really cool. Um, and you can also like layer different lighting effects over each other. So you can have reactive lighting effects over the sort of static lighting effects. So you've got like a whole disco show going on when you're sort of like typing and using the keyboard. 
and of course all of these are actually further customizable so once you click on one it gives you a few other options like you can change the speed um you can change the colors you can change the direction and then if you want even more control you can click on the advanced uh, lighting tab at the top and that gives you absolute full control to create your very own specific lighting effects and it gives you like all the control you can imagine like over the different colors over the timing uh, you can lay loads of different effects on top of each other um, it can get very very time consuming so another great thing that Corsair have is that you can actually download a community created lighting effect so someone's already put in the hours of work to create some really nice lighting effects. You can just go on within the queue software itself and just download it and then it's just ready to go and it just works straight away. And there is loads and loads on there to choose from. And I found there's quite a few pretty good ones on there. So you also have the action tab and the action tab is where you create and edit your macros. So with the K95, you've got the six dedicated macro keys and this is where you're gonna create the macros for them. So you can record like a basic macro and then it's also got a load of other options on there. So you can like set any key to do basically anything. So like launch an application, like start a timer, switch between different profiles and you can also like remap every single key on the keyboard. Um, and I imagine you can probably have like unlimited macros on there. So you can tell any key to do what you want and then you've got the performance tab and this is where you're going to tell um, the keyboard what you want the windows lock key to do and also give you a few options for sort of changing the indicator light so what you want color to change to whether it's off or on and then a there's some more options in the settings up at the top here so this is where you get like the firmware updates from corsair you can check on firmware updates and you can adjust the polling rate as well um, and also sort of like the keyboard keyboard layout. This keyboard also features, it's got some onboard memory on there. So you can actually have um, up to three different profiles. So if you plug this keyboard into a computer that doesn't have the Q software installed, it'll actually remember the lighting effects and the macros which are stored on the um, memory of the keyboard itself. So it's quite useful if you're gonna be traveling around uh, with this keyboard. Um, and it will yeah, remember your three three different settings. So you're sort of like ready to go as soon as you plug it in. But yeah, overall, I really like the Q software. It's probably like one of my um, most like favorite software to use. It's really easy and intuitive and it gives you loads of control. So as a reviewer, I always try and find ways in which I think a product can be improved. And with the Corsair K925 Platinum, I genuinely don't think it has any negatives. Um, for me, if I had a list of everything I wanted in a Dream Keyboard, um, the K925 would literally tick every single box. It's got great build quality. It's got the beautiful RGB backlighting. It's got the removable wrist rest, dedicated macro keys, dedicated media keys, a Brady cable, USB pass through, and great software to go with it. It literally has everything. Um, so this is Corsair's flagship keyboard. So it has um, that pretty hefty price tag of 200 pounds. And for me, it's actually gonna be like, I think it's worth the investment because it has everything I could ever want in the keyboard. This is my dream keyboard. Um, whereas I think you can get some really, really excellent keyboards um, for sort of like 50, 60 pounds less. And that's within Corsair's own line, like the K70 and the Strafe have quite similar features, um, but you're paying a lot less money. So you don't have to splash out that much money to get a great keyboard. It's just that I think if you want everything that Corsair has to offer when it comes to the keyboard, um, then the K95 Platinum is it. It's just sort of, whether that price tag is worth it for you. Do you want the flashy RGB lighting? Do you want the dedicated macro keys? Um, yeah, it's sort of everything Corsair has to offer, but you definitely pay for it. I do think though, if you are interested in this keyboard, you never know, like sometimes places like overclockers, like eBuyer, they have quite good offers going on. Um, so it, you might be able to pick this keyboard up for a more reasonable price. Um, and then, I think it would definitely be worth it. And I can see a lot of you going, oh my God, she's crazy. She thinks the 200 pound keyboard is worth it. But it literally has, for me, it has no negatives. Um, so I think you pay a lot of money for it, but you definitely uh, get your money back. It's just, 
yeah, it's a great keyboard. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from KitGuru, hit the subscribe button.